Good morning. This is Linda Carruthers. And I thought I would come on and show you what some of the things I've been working on. And I've been doing some fussy cutting on some, uh, uh, for a project I'm working on. Um, I don't know if you're aware, but I do like to recycle, reuse, and repurpose stuff. And especially that garbage mail you get in the garden in the mailbox every day. Uh, you get these magazines that you never did subscribe to, especially when they want you to buy stuff. Okay. I get these kind. I get uh, jewelry, you know, like the jewelry magazines and stuff. And I don't even buy jewelry, much less wear it. Uh, so, but anyway, I went through my jewelry magazine. And here are some of the things that I put cut it out to use in journals. And these are some of them right there. And uh, this, you can tell, this used to be necklaces. And excuse me, it's going to fall on all. This was a necklace. And this was a uh, bracelet. This is a hat pin. These are earrings. Uh, this is a butterfly right here. And I cut it out. There's a panda bear. It's a pin that I cut out. Here's a kitty kitty with a clock in her. Here's an angel. Here's some signs that are pins, I believe. This one says, a dog is love is forever. And then happiness is found within. But, uh, here's another necklace. Look at the pretty flowers. See, this one's red and this one's green. And so you, those are things that you can cut Fussy cut out of magazines and stuff. And let me show you. Out of this magazine, I got I got it uh, yesterday. And see, in the beginning, there's these little pansies. There's this little rug. You can cut it out. Not because of its rug or the flowers, but because, see, it even has the word welcome. So if you're doing like a uh, journal to, for a new neighbor or someone that's uh, new to the family or something, and you want to let them know that you welcome them to the family, you can use these for those in your journals. And uh, here's some more. See, there's another picture of the road. You get a couple of copies of them, so that if you use one, you still got another one. And then there's the vintage lady right there that you can put in your journal. Um, there is uh, uh, see it here. You got uh, you got the old Coca-Cola clock, a uh, uh, radio. If you wanted to, uh, if you was doing vintage like a vintage kitchen thing, and you wanted to. And you're doing the red and white thing, and you want to put that in the journal, you could put that in there. You could fussy cut this green plant. There's the lady again. There's a clock right there. There's just all kinds of things in there. Also, uh, let's see. People don't think about it, but there's uh, like these t shirts. They have decor on them, and you can cut these t-shirts out and then cut the decor out as you wanted to. I'm sorry, I'm trying to show it to you. That's what you need. There's a kitty kitty and there's some flowers and there's a gardening scene. Also, there's a little pig right there. You can cut that one out. You can cut words out of these magazines. And then here is a uh, these are puzzles, and you could take and cut these here pictures out of the puzzle and use them in your journals. You can also, on this side, you know, they show you these pictures. This is a coloring book here, but I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like lace. And you could cut that out and use it as a paper lace in some of your projects. Just like that. 
and just go through your magazine and see what you can find because there's always something in there that you can take out before you throw it away. Like, for instance, here is a bed spread, and it's got all these beautiful butterflies on it. And we always use butterflies in our journals. So you could get you at least seven or eight butterflies out of this one picture right here. Because you got two up here. Then you got one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven. There, so that'd be nine butterflies right there. And so just go through your magazine before you throw them out. See if there's not something that you would like to use and you, you might use in your journal. Take that page out. You don't have to necessarily cut it out right then, but take that page out and you and put it away until you decide you need to use it. And then you can throw the rest of your magazine away. So you ain't got all that garbage hanging around your house. Now, another thing I wanted to show you was get all that off of there. Okay. Um uh, you get these envelopes in the mail. I know. If you like me, you do. Anyway, I don't know why they send them to me. I don't, you never do them or nothing, but they like to send them to me, so I get what I can and throw them away. So you get these envelopes, you know, those survey envelopes, or they send you the special offers and stuff. And in there, there's these pages. And this is a couple of pages. I mean, this is a fold out. You can use this in your journal as a page and then decorate all four sides. You can uh, use these. They always have those little things from Publishers Clearing House. And see if you win anything. Well, you know, nine times out of ten, you ain't going to get nothing. So. Uh, but this one comes with an envelope so that you can send your stuff in. However, if you're not going to do that, which I don't do it anyway, um, decorate, decorate it up. Use this side, uh, put your journal page here so you can journal on it. And fold it up like that. Put this over here. And then put that in your journal like so. And you have a place that you can take and journal here. And you can put stuff, here's your pocket to put your stuff in. And then you can fold it back up and decorate your other side. Okay, now that's that one. Now, here's another one. that They use cardstock to do their advertisement on stuff too. So here's another page. You could use this as the outer of your journal. So in this uh, pack of pages I got, I already got one signature right here. And I've got a pocket I can put on right here. And I have a journaling page in a pocket. In another pocket. Let's see, I can do it like that. On a page. So, that, so far we've got two pages in the pocket. Now, then we have this one. We have, this is a trifold. Let me put it up right. And it's a trifold. And you can decorate it. And you can use it as a trifold. You can use it as a flip. Like this. You can use it as a pocket. And a flip over this way. Uh, then we have this one you can use as a tag. Now some of these have stuff that you can cut off and use. Like there's this apple. There's this little corn like thing that you can use. And just make your tag a little shorter. Uh, then you got another flip. It's a trifold. You can use it as a trifold and decorate it and put it in there and have this as a pocket. Or you can use or a pocket like that. Or you can take it and use it as a 
flip like this and have it for a journaling page in your journal. Now, here's another one. Now, this one I would use as a card. You can use it as like a, uh, let's say you have a baby shower or somebody's having a baby and you want to congratulate them on having their little baby. Well, you can decorate this up and you keep the face of the baby in there. And especially if it's a little girl since it's done in pink. Um, and decorate it up and, and uh, fix this on the back so that you can put your wording and stuff on the back here. And this be a card to send to you to your lady. Or you can take and you can make this a card or part of a page or a pocket. You can also take and cut, if you don't want to do that, you just want to cut the pictures out. You can cut the baby picture here and this little bitty picture here. And you got this little one right there. So you have three little baby pictures that you can use. Alright, now these, you always, y'all know about these chicks thing. We always get these in, the, in there. They always send you a little special. Now, if you see one that you like, uh, like here's a little red cardinal, if you can fussy cut that little tiny thing and use that in your journal, then fine. But uh, what I would do, see, this is two pages, so you can put that in your journal, make that another journal page, so now you've got three journal pages, okay? Or if you're doing a smaller journal, want to do a smaller one, you can take it, it's folded in half for you already, then fold it again, fold it one more time, and then you're going to cut this right here, and this one here, make it, and then you got four pages right here, four pages for you, you got one, two, three, four, so you already got a journal. Alright, now this is a softer cardstock. This is not card. I don't consider this cardstock, and I don't consider this paper in between the two. Now, you can take this and make it a, a, a tag, a, a card, building it up. Or if you want to use it in your, uh, as a page in a journal, you can fold it in half and have a page in your journal. Alright. And then last, you got another page for your journal. So see, by using all of this, you now have uh, hold on a you now have A signature because you got one, two, three, four, four pages in there. You have um, you have your pocket for one page. You got a card, you got another card, you got another pocket or a flipper, you got another pocket or a flip, so you got three pockets to flip, you got two cards, and you now have a tag that you can use for your signature. So now that's all, you come out of this envelope, and you can use this envelope even in your project. So now that's how you use all of that. Okay, now one more thing. Okay, when you get, like when you donate uh, to a cause, whether it's like uh, Salvation Army, you get the address stickers. Uh, if you uh, donate to uh, the uh, veterans, you get stickers and uh, stuff like that. If you donate to St. Jude Hospital Children's 
research hospital, they always send me these little paper tablets to use them. Now, this alone you could put in your journal for a notepad for them to journal on. However, let's say you use it to do your scribbling on, which is what I do. I use it to scribble. All right. When I get through scribbling, I don't throw this away right then until I cut out this beautiful, see this beautiful picture, Daphne? I cut it out. Now I can use that in my journal. So even though I got to use this for myself, I get this to go in my journal. So always look at your papers when you're writing on something and these little tablets like this look at them and see if there's any decor on the bottom that you could put in your journal okay now i have one more thing i wanted to show you and then we'll be off now, i'm gonna be taking you on a trip for just a second and uh here we go. It's going to be a short one because I got to hurry up and plug you back in. But anyway, what it is, I want to show you this thing and then I'll uh, get back over there and tell you all about it. See that? Yeah. Let's see if I can get back here where you can see it good. Yeah. Okay. Now, let me get you back. Excuse me. Back over here. All right. I wanted... Let me plug you back in. Now. All right. What I wanted to show you was that that is a... Um, you know, when you're doing your patios out back or pathways, uh, used to, they used to do it in concrete, and they would uh, use that, like things like that, and there was another one used to make your patios not, pl I mean your pathways, not just plain concrete. It would look like cobblestone or like stones. In your pathway. Uh, so this was back in 1990s. <laughs> oh, but anyway, early 90s. And so we had that, and we put that out, and we made the pathways to and from my house using that as to make it look like cobblestone. And uh, uh, it's just been laying around and I had this idea I'm going to take and clean it up maybe paint it I'm not sure whether I'm going to paint it or not um, and then I want to take and uh, Mod Podge different pictures of different things on there like flowers and animals and uh, maybe some stars and uh, night skies and day skies and stuff like that and put on there and put it in my back bedroom as a headboard for my back bed back room bed and uh, I want to put it on wall my grandson when he was living here he had painted the room kind of a navy blue so it's kind of dark in there and so I wanted to kind of cheer it up a little bit and put something in there that I can take down and or put leave up or whatever. I'm just going to put it on the wall and uh, do that. So now that you saw what it looked like to begin with. It was dirty and dungy and it, it looks like stone. And... Uh, so when I get through, I'll take another picture and show it to y'all and do another video. And so that was my work for this week. 
And y'all take care, and y'all forgive me in my house if y'all seen all the mess. Um, yeah, it's just been a week of not getting to get everything done. Uh, y'all take care. Have a good day. God bless you all. And God be with you. In Jesus' name. Amen. And y'all have a good day. Love you. Bye-bye.